Welcome back everyone. Today's layout is a challenge that I accepted from Anne Baldwin on a Facebook page called Crafty Vera and Friends Facebook page and Anne kindly provided the sketch that you saw earlier and I accepted the challenge. So I'm just showing you the photos that I picked and the papers are all from Auntie Vera Scrap and Craft. I will link her website down below. You can go and check it out. I'm on her design team for the month of July and this will be my very first project for with the kit or with her core products. And yes, I hope you enjoy what I had for you. The core products are these gorgeous papers from Authentique. They're well, this one that I picked for my photo is for is called Solitude 3 Paper. I picked it mainly for that gorgeous tree because, as you can see, my photo has got the gorgeous pine trees and it has snow all over it. And for me, snow in October uh, on my birthday is so rare. Uh, and these are what the photos that I'm documenting are about. We went to Genolvan Caves. It was the middle of October. It's the 16th of October because it was a weekend. It was my birthday and it snowed. It was just absolutely magical. Snow on my birthday. I'm sure I will never see it again or not in Australia. Um, absolutely magical moment for us. For overseas people, in October, it's usually our springtime and snow in spring is very rare well, for me in, in, our, in my part of the world. So what I did was, as per the sketch, I trimmed down the photo of my husband and I wanted that photo because you can actually, in real life, see the snowflakes on his jacket, which I was so excited about. And the sketch actually calls for some circular elements on it and I'm not going to use some circles. I decided I was going to go with some snowflakes. I did have some snowflakes that I had used a die cut with but it, they were just too small so I went to my silhouette machine and I made a few different snow, snowflakes and yeah different sizes just you know to see how I like things and you will see that I will play around with these for a while just trying to see how I'm going to where I'm going to put them and I am going to follow the sketch so where the sketch had circles I'm going to use these snowflakes. I'm going to be using some die cuts on this layout and they are from the Authentique range and they are from this sheet and I love how Authentique have it on this sheet and it's not in a little packet all scrunched up and you have to go through all these die cuts to see what you're going to use. You can see everything and I picked the falling snow one and the snowflakes because it was just what was happening on that day and they were very appropriate for the layout. And then I also picked this one that says brew because it was cold and we're not used to the cold. So yes, love it. My next thing was to go back to my die, the die cuts that I made on my silhouette machine. And I didn't like it that they were just this grey cardstock and a bit dull. So I'm going to be using my chosen product for the month of July. And it's this Nouveau uh, Silver Paste. And I can tell you now it is absolutely gorgeous it gives the most stunning effect and yes I was naughty I just used my finger because because that's what I did I didn't think to get a paintbrush I just wanted to get stuck into it and sometimes I just like using my fingers no excuses I'm a lazy scrapper and sometimes a messy scrapper to me the messy part is the fun part and check out these close-ups oh my gosh look at the sparkle I I am in love Nouveau Glimmer Paste is my new go-to. Absolutely love it. And they really made these snowflakes pop. And they just make the whole layout. Um, yeah, I am really happy with this product. So as you can see, all I'm doing now is I'm playing around with the placements of my die cuts and my snowflakes. And I just want to get everything just right. I'm just going to add one more element from the perforated die cuts from the Authentique sheet and that's that magical die cut. I absolutely love it and I thought it was just appropriate for this layout. So everything is going to get adhered down and yes this layout is almost complete. So we're nearly at the end. I'm not going to show you sticking everything down because you want to have a glue down and I'm just going to move on to the next step. So as per the sketch it's 
on the circular on the circle on the uh, what is it the left hand side it has these little strips going down it so there's this gorgeous paper and from this off antique range and it has these little stripes so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut those little stripes down and I'm going to use them glue them down and yeah just as per the sketch it all works out really well in the end I really love how this layout turned out. I want to thank Anne for giving me the inspiration by providing the sketch. It was perfect for my photos. The sketch was also perfect for the core products for the month of July for Anivera Scrap and Craft. So thank you, Anne. You're a star. And I also want to take this opportunity to ask you to please subscribe to my little growing channel and hit that bell notification so that when my, I do upload on a weekly basis you will know about it so thank you all thank you everyone and till my next layout which should be in a week's time I uh, stay safe stay well and please take care of one another and hold all your loved ones dear bye everybody and here are some close-ups for you and yes till next time bye